Hey, good morning, Keith. I'm gonna answer your last question in your email in this video, and that was, how should I handle my wife's daily accusations of all the ways I'm hurting her, etc." And this is, this is um, really common among all men, whether you're in an estranged, separated, soon to be divorced relationship, or if you're just in a regular marriage, right? It's very common for a man to experience a woman sharing her hurt with him. And so there's a couple key ingredients I wanna share with you. The very first one is you must have a clear path and mechanism for addressing and handling your own sense of shame. Why am I saying this? What does it have to do with things? It's because of this. If you are a man that suffers with unresolved shame, people will bring this up for you all of the time. And so every time you hear someone else's hurt, you will hear your shame instead of their hurt. And this becomes a huge problem because a man experiencing shame cannot be empathetic towards other people. All he hears is shaming and accusation in the person's story. And so what he'll do is what any man does when he's ashamed. He plays defense. He defends. He needs to guard himself. He needs to find a way to get out from underneath the sense of guilt and wrongdoing he feels in her story. That means he stops listening. He stops showing empathy. He stops showing compassion. And he just makes it all about him. And this man will hear this from his wife. You always make everything about you. He'll hear he's a narcissist. He'll hear all kinds of things like he's controlling. And the reason that's happening is because in his shame, he is not really able to hear her story without defensiveness, without setting the record straight, without a need to argue, defend, all kinds of horrible things. So it's not productive for anyone. She will not feel an ounce better. In fact, she'll feel worse and more hurt and she'll feel more justified in whatever action she takes to go away from the relationships. And she would be because that man is actually not able to be an empathetic, compassionate spouse. So what do you do? You need to address your own shame. Can you address that in minutes? No, you can't. That's, that's essentially what I say, like the good, good transformative coaching and mentoring will help you with that shame. It's a process. It's a, a bit to go through, but as you do it and you clear, you clear up your own sense of shame, then you stop seeing yourself as a bad thing. And when someone accuses, well, when someone shares a story with you, hold on a second, the vehicle has when someone shares a story with you about their hurt, you stop hearing your shame. You stop hearing it as accusation and you're able just to sit with them and hear it. Now that guy, he can listen with empathy, empathy, compassion, and curiosity. The woman in his life can just say, hey, this is my experience. This is how, I, how you hurt me. This is how I feel. And he could just become curious about it. Listen, compassionate, empathize, no defense. No arguing, no setting the record straight because he knows it's just her experience of her life. And it's not something I have either the liberty or the need to argue with, right? Some, how someone else feels is how they feel. It's not negotiable. It's not up for me to change. And when I try to change it, she will despise me for that. And she should because it's not necessary and it is controlling and it is narcissistic as an attribute at least, to need to tell other people how they feel. That's why we get called narcissists. We're not really legit, you know, NPD narcissists. We're just doing narcissistic things when we have to change other people's feelings because our story says so. Okay, so this is why, again, you have to go back to, sh to shame and, and resolving that. If you can manage to overcome the shame or address it or even make an agreement with yourself that I'm not gonna respond and react right now. I'm gonna set my feelings aside for the moment. And as uh, G.S. Youngblood says, give her the generosity of meeting her in her space, in her emotional space. Listen to her with compassion, empathy, high regard. Experience it with her. Ask her what she needs from you. Just be present. Again, no defense and just get through it. Nine times out of 10, the woman in our life will feel pretty terrific after getting that off of her chest. She'll feel understood and listened to if we're just there with her in that. And then we can always come back later on and you know, revisit either with ourselves or preferably brothers, uh, how we felt in that moment, process that and move on. So that's what I would recommend. Um, but you need to do all this, by the way, within boundaries, which means it's one thing for a female partner to share how we hurt her and 
her emotional experience and how she's feeling and you know so forth that's a healthy thing to do but it needs to be done within boundaries for self meaning if your wife comes at you in a toxic way in a shaming way in a degrading way if she's abusive in her speech right you have to have strong boundaries here you can't just you know say oh, okay that's no problem it's not empathy to let people treat you like a punching bag right now having said that this is nuanced just because you feel like a punching bag doesn't mean she's treating you like one so this is where you have to get really clear about what actions and words that a woman says or takes are going to be just out of bounds for you and we don't get to control what they do brother so all I can do in that moment is just say listen I feel like you're the tone of your voice and the words you're choosing and the verbal attacks are getting to a space that is just not okay with me sweetheart and so I'm gonna pause you for a minute I'm gonna go take a walk and I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes and if you're ready to speak in a calm and civil manner I'm happy to keep hearing more of this with you something like that right so you have to be ready to do that if you do all these things I believe you'll actually endure most marital conflict that you come up with uh, and she'll feel more heard more understood and when a woman feels more heard and understood she feels safer and when women feel safer they want to connect more so I hope this helps if you need anything else brother just reach out and we'll talk soon take care